So once you've added your areas, the next step is to add your 360 photos to those areas. Now, in this case, I've got the entrance hallway. I've already uploaded, uploaded my photo. I just hit on select photo from library and added it in uh, from the gallery. So once I've got this image here, obviously I can hit on the image and it will take me in and I can you know, navigate around and look at the 360. Uh, but the actual setting of the start position is, is quite important. Uh, and I'll give you an example of that now. So when I hit on that, essentially what it does is it takes me into the image itself. However, when I've created this tour, I want the, the viewer of the tour to click on the door from the outside of the property and then walk their way in. Now, because of that, the most logical way for them to be facing is the way that they would face if they're actually walking into the property. So I don't want the, the, the image to start facing the door. I want it to start facing away from the door and therefore I will just set my position wherever I like and then hit the set position button and then it will then set that position for me in the tour itself. So the, the, the viewer of the tour can navigate around accordingly. Uh, once I've done that, I can then just hit uh, the done button there. And then it will take me back into the overview list of rooms. I can do the same thing again in another area. Load my image in. And then once the image is loaded, I can then proceed to also set the position that the viewer will be facing when they are entered into that particular area.